here you see some people arriving at the Bestigi Ball, that marvellous night a long time ago. And for the arrival, he forbade any of his guests to use motorboats, so they had to arrive by gondola, as are these people here. We're on the Grand Canal. We're quite a way up the Grand Canal. And what, uh, what was really remarkable about this was the Tiepolo. And Bestigi had found this palace shortly after the war in an almost derelict state. A munitions boat had exploded outside that had sort of se severely damaged it. And, but he saw beyond this dereliction, beyond this neglect, and he saw something marvelous. He saw the very spirit of 18th century Venice. This was, some, this, was, this was an extraordinary event. This was something truly unimaginable in scale, um, totally beyond the imaginings of the general public. The most remarkable thing was the uh, entree of Dali, who um, came with a, with a set of tall costumes of people as the ghosts of Venice. And uh, Cardin created for Dali these double glazed spectacles with ants crawling around in between the two panes of glass. But there was also a touch of Hollywood glamour as well. It was the time of the Venice Film Festival, early September. So um, you had Orson Welles, strangely enough. You had Jean Tierney. And it's interesting to note that Jean Tierney spent $15 on her costume. Barbara Hutton spent 15000 I mean, by choosing an 18th century theme, Bestigi was signalling as he did almost throughout his life in all his houses that he decorated and so on. He was turning his back on the modern world, the world of the Cold War, the world of the Marshall Plan, the world of communist domination threatening. And he was returning to a time when everybody knew their place and Bestigi knew that he was at the top of the social order. So he recreated the 18th century, because that was where he wanted to be that evening. I was lucky enough to find a few people who'd actually been to the Bestigi Ball. And I asked them about, did they enjoy the evening? And this actually was the wrong question to ask, because uh, Jacqueline de Ribes, who I spoke to, said it was not a ball to go pour s'amuser, it was a ball to go to be amazed by the spectacle, to be être ravi, uh, to be enchanted, but not to amuse yourself. <laughs>